prepare for launch in three, two, one. This is the 19th annual Spotlight on Youth Biz Stars, benefiting Young American Center for Financial Education. Welcome. I am so pleased you could join us for Spotlight on Youth Biz Stars 2020. My name is Greg Moss, and I'm going to be your host for the next half hour. At this year's event, we're going to do three things. First, we're going to recognize and honor Colorado's top youth entrepreneurs. We're going to give you a more in-depth look at Young American Center for Financial Education and the impact of its programs. And we're going to raise some money to support those programs. I'm here, of course, in Young Ameritown, and I feel like the luckiest guy in the world right now. This is what every fifth grader dreams of, the opportunity to be a mayor, to be a banker, to run their own business. Let's show you how the power of these programs are working in our community right now. At Young American Center for Financial Education, we are committed to developing young people real life, hands-on experiences in personal finance so that they can prosper in our free enterprise system. We do this through four program areas, banking and personal finance, free enterprise, global economics, and entrepreneurship. Young Americans Bank is the world's only bank for young people under the age of 22. Personal finance is something that we use every single day of our lives. We can either make good decisions or we can make bad decisions, but those are decisions that will stay with us a lifetime. So understanding how to balance your checkbook, manage your finances, invest wisely. Our program concept area, Free Enterprise, is accomplished through our flagship program, Young Ameritown. Young Ameritown is a unique experience where young people get the chance to run their own town for a day. Assuming the roles of consumers and producers, running their own government for the day, really understanding the intricacies of our free enterprise system. Our environment these days is not just local, it is definitely global. International Town is our middle school program where students get an opportunity to explore our global economy. Topics such as interdependence, trade, tariffs, scarcity, supply and demand, getting in depth on what makes our world go round. Our founder, Bill Daniels, believed so dearly in our free enterprise system. He felt it was the best system in the world. Entrepreneurship is near and dear to our hearts, with Mr. Daniels being one of the most notable entrepreneurs in the region and in the country. Youth Biz are our suite of entrepreneurial programs, from early on teaching kids how to think entrepreneurially, all the way up to starting and running their own business, to allow youth to really explore how they create value whether it be understanding how to think entrepreneurially, how to create a business, how to manage a business, really understand what made our country great through entrepreneurship. True to our roots, Young Americans remains an entrepreneurial organization, constantly innovating to explore and create new programs. Young Americans offers a variety of classes, workshops, and summer camps, allowing youth to go a little bit more in depth into those concepts of banking and personal finance, free enterprise, global economics, and entrepreneurship. Growing up in an unbanked family in Southern Colorado, made me realize the important impact that we make here. I hope that Young American Center for Financial Education continues to empower young people to take control of their life, manage their finances, become better citizens, more engaged in their communities, so that they can make a difference in our future. Join us at Young American Center for Financial Education by opening a bank account, enrolling in a class or workshop, or becoming one of our sponsors to keep this important work alive in our community. Thank you. Young Americans believes every young person, regardless of their background, deserves these types of learning experiences. And that's where you come in. You can provide a day in Young Ameritown, you can provide a lesson in imports and exports, and you can provide the training to start a youth-owned business. Make your donation right now in support of Young Americans, and it'll be matched two to one by some very generous funders. Now I'd like to introduce Rich Martinez, President and CEO of Young American Center for Financial Education, to tell us more about the work of this incredible organization. 
Thank you, Greg. And to those joining us, welcome to the Spotlight on Youth Biz Stars 2020. Although these unique times have changed the traditional format for this event, we are excited at the opportunity it presents. In particular, we are thrilled to be reaching so many of our friends and past participants who now live across the globe. No matter if you are right down the street or in New York City, I am certain you will find inspiration and joy as we celebrate the next generation of business leaders, the 2020 Youth Biz Stars. Their entrepreneurial spirit embodies the innovation and drive for progress that the United States is best known for. And that spirit is going to be on full display tonight. You are in for a real treat. I have led Young American Center for the last 21 years, and this is the first time this event has also provided a behind the scenes look at our programs. In fact, I'm here in international town where more than 11,500 middle school students gain a hands-on lesson in global economics every year. It is this incredibly unique, one-of-a-kind learning experience that shapes young people's values and habits. This is how financial education should be taught in an experiential way. This work and that of our beloved Young Ameritown and Youth Biz programs is really the work of a community of supporters. I am forever grateful for our three boards of directors which provide strategic direction for the organization, our talented staff who realize this vision every day, our participating kids and their families who are the reason we do what we do, our judges and all of the volunteers who donate their time to young learners, and finally, our community of supporters making all of this possible. In particular, it is you, our community of supporters, who have allowed the center to continue this important work despite our new realities. Thank you to our lead sponsors, Bank of America, Children's Hospital Colorado, Bob and Judy Newman, the Daniels Fund, and Empower Retirement for your leadership in making this event possible. Finally, a big thank you to CoBank, tonight's presenting sponsor. Your commitment to our community is indeed a heartwarming reminder of the way corporations and nonprofits can partner to affect real and meaningful change. Now, I'd like to introduce Dave Burlidge to tell us more about this partnership. Thank you, Rich. CoBank is proud to be the presenting sponsor of Spotlight on Youth Biz Stars. And it's my pleasure as past board chair of Young American Center and a CFO of CoBank to welcome all of you. CoBank is one of the largest private providers of credit to our nation's rural economy, delivering loans, leases, and other financial services to agribusiness, rural infrastructure, and farm credit customers in all 50 states. And we are headquartered right here in Denver. CoBank is proud to invest in organizations and programs that address the critical social and economic needs of our nation's rural communities, as well as those in the communities where our associates live and work. Organizations like Young American Center for Financial Education do both. They reach rural communities as well as students living in the urban neighborhoods. I'm speaking to you from the Youth Biz Lab, where young people gain real life experience in entrepreneurship. The lab may be empty right now, but the need for financial education and entrepreneurship training is greater today than it has ever been. Every family has felt the instability of this past year, regardless of where they live and regardless of their background. But here's the good news. Young American Center equips students with skills to prepare for these hardships and soften their blow. In proven hands-on programs, Young people gain strong money management skills, an entrepreneurial spirit, the know-how to be a better citizen, and they gain resiliency. Most importantly, new research reports that program participants bring these lessons home with them, helping families practice these skills as well. Although some of the center's best known programs patiently await the return of students, our work has not stopped. Young American Center is dedicated to education and innovation and, over the last few months, staff has developed new programs and new ways to reach youth. This is why we need you. Financial literacy makes a difference, a big difference in a child's life. The programs at Young American Center start children and their families on a path toward financial self-sufficiency, towards responsibility, and towards resiliency and you can put them on that path.
please consider a gift to young Americans. Thank you. Now I'd like to pass the mic back to Greg. Greg? Thanks so much, Dave. And to those of you watching right now, we do need you. And every donation supports the hands-on educational programs of Young American Center, programs that are more important than ever. You may make your gift at the link below or on the event page. Now we've got some celebrating to do. There were 31 incredible youth-owned businesses in this year's competition. These 31 businesses are so deserving of our praise and support, so please take a moment to browse their products and services after the event is complete. You can find a listing on Young Americans' website. Now from these 31 applicants, judges selected a winner and two finalists in each of three different age categories. Tonight, we're gonna to be recognizing these winners and the finalists. Each receives a cash prize and the winners gain something even more valuable, a year long mentorship with a prominent Denver area business leader. Well, without further ado, let's meet Colorado's top entrepreneurs in the six to 11 age category. The two finalists are Seth Huntley, age eight. Seth started selling his amazingly unique snacks while baking with his brother, Gabe. They make brownies, cookies, granola bars, and so much more in their business, Snacks for Dollars. Judges were particularly impressed with the brothers' charity endeavors in helping healthcare workers. The second finalist is Tuff Glassman. The seven-year-old owner of Tuff's Chickens has always wanted to be a farmer. Tuff, in fact, started out his business at the tender age of three. Today, he holds a farmer's market stand at the end of his driveway where he sells chicken eggs, fruits, vegetables, herbs, even a little lemonade. Judges really admired how Tuff inspires customers to join the farm to table movement and truly know where their food is coming from. And now for the winner of the six to 11 age category, drum roll please. Julia, you're the winner of the six to 11 age category. Congratulations. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you'll be receiving the $1,000 and you'll be paired with a mentor, a business mentor. So you won. <laughs> <laughs> you won. First place? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. We'll let that sink in a little bit. I've walked dogs ever since I was like five ish with my sisters. So I wanted to make dog cookies that every dog liked, even the super picky ones. I have two flavors, beef flavored dog treats and pumpkin peanut butter. Our neighbor has a dog that we dog sit and his name is Olaf. And one day when I told her I was gonna make a business with dog cookies, she said it should be called Olaf's Cookies because he would look perfect on the front of like a shirt or a hat or something. I started Olaf's Dog Cookies in 2019 and now we have about 10 dogs. I love meeting Julia. She is spunky and she's got a passion for what she's doing. And this is my friend Ralph Lauren. Can, he's our medical dog. I met Jenna Hausman, CEO of Children's Hospital, and we mainly just talked about kind of just my business and how I started and and stuff like that. When I was searching for a profession, it really personally struck me that healthcare needed to be different. And I've been so fortunate in 26 years of being in the healthcare profession that the last 16 years, I found myself in pediatric healthcare. And there is nothing more compassionate and full of love than helping children through some of their most stressful moments and helping the families through those moments. Hopefully this $1,000 helps you advance your business and accomplish all of your goals. Yeah. Yay! That is one big check. That is one big check. A mentor can help me with creating an email list so I can email people um, when the dog treats are done and I have some. And also getting into stores and kind of just marketing and stuff. I'm really inspired by the mission of Young Americans because it is an ability for children to interactively and hands-on learn values and skills that are gonna serve them their entire life. I'm a mother of three beautiful children and they've all been able to be part of the Young Americans program. They have a bank for kids and they have classes and this competition. I've been to a few youth biz marketplaces and that helped me a lot. The more we can help 
this generation really understands sound financial principles and the value of good work and giving back, those are values that create financial security, which really is a part of overall health and well-being. I want to be running this business when I'm a grown-up. Olaf's Cookies inspired Dogs on the Go, yes. So Dogs on the Go is walking and dog sitting for people. We train the dogs with the treats now. I think it's going to be fun to watch Julia understand how she finds more customers. That was one of her goals that she articulated. What I love most about my business is probably making the treats and also I carry them around with me when I go like play with my friends. So like all the neighborhood dogs, neighborhood dogs love me because I give them treats and that's a plus. My wish for Julia is she never gives up. I have often learned that sometimes the failures you have along your life experience can teach you the most valuable lessons. There's nothing more rewarding than having your dreams become a reality. I'm Julia, the owner of Olaf's Dog Cookies, and you can find my product at Youth Biz Marketplace and Facebook. I don't know about you, but at nine years old, I was definitely not running my own successful business. And how about Ralph, the medical dog? Love that guy. Julia definitely needs to include him, I think, in her sales efforts in the future. Now let's meet the top entrepreneurs in the 12 to 15 age category. I am honored to announce the two finalists are 13-year-old Evan Hoeing. Since receiving a lathe as a Christmas gift in 2017, Evan has quickly acquired vast knowledge and skills in woodworking to create his business, Evan Hoeing Woodworking. Evan says what he likes most about his business is seeing the surprise on his customers' faces when they realize that he's the one that made the product that they're admiring. Evan sells bottle stoppers, pens, cutting boards, and bowls, all handmade by him. Judges gushed over Evan's craftsmanship and the incredibly high quality that he's made synonymous with his brand. Our second finalist is Hannah Doolittle. Hannah's all natural soap company, Simply Denver Soap Company, has been in operation for a little over a year, even though she's only 12 years old. She provides local customers with soaps in six delicious smelling flavors. Outside of Hannah's soap making skills, judges loved her enthusiasm and passion for her business, her salesmanship, and her creative marketing ideas. And now for the big moment. Miley, you are the winner for our 12 to 15 year age category. Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, and so with that, we of course need to pair you with um, a mentor. So we do have your mentor pairing. Are you surprised? Yeah, I'm super excited. This is a really, really competitive age category. So you should be really proud of yourself. Congratulations, Miley. So well deserved. We're really, really proud of you. remodeling our basement and we found an old sewing machine and I was like mom what's this and she was like uh I think that was the sewing machine Cher Cher who's my grandma gifted it to me when you were born so that then I could maybe learn how to sew your clothes but uh I found it boring so no thank you <laughs> I started messing around with it, and then I asked for lessons. And I started Sewing with Smiles back in 2018. In 2019, I made over 730 sales throughout the entire year. <laughs> She's amazing, My Ling is a, quite a girl. I always like to ask young people, well, what do you like to do? What, what's your dream job? And she surprised me by saying, I love the combination of sewing and theater. I just had my first meeting with Mr. and Mrs. Newman. It is oh, one of my wonderful. bow bags. Yeah. How sweet of you. Oh, that's great material. We were probably the first computer dating as we both met as programmers on the Apollo project some 60 years ago now. And then moved me to Chicago where I ended up working for United Airlines. So I was with them for 27 years. I became planning manager, then I ran the computer center in the maintenance division, and then I took care of all of their systems and engineering systems. I was the backbone and help to let him start his own business. So By that you mean out. financial help? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So anyway, we're a good team. 
was a co-founder of J.D. Edwards Software Company here in Denver. And on retirement, I taught at DU for a few years. And since then, mostly working with uh, nonprofits around town. Uh, the Denver Center for Performing Arts, the Art Museum. I'm on the board of the Botanic Gardens. Let, let me add, she also ran the campaign to build the Newman Center. We got where we are because people helped us. What advice would you have for me? I am 13 and I'm just starting out. She wants to go online and Bob made the point to say, well, before you go online, you really do need to do the market research to find out to, to choose who the right you're platform. trying to, who are your customers. I have progressed my business to now two product lines. My first one is fun fashion. My second product line is my eco-friendly products line, which is produce bags. I put out an ad for them on Stapleton Marketplace, and I went to bed. The next morning I woke up and I asked my mom if I had any orders. Turned out I got 250 bags ordered overnight, so I really had to buckle down and start sewing. And how can you not like youth biz when it's younger entrepreneurs. I love all the programs that they have that teach financial sensibility and education. We need small businesses and we need businesses that will grow. The little bit we can do, we're happy to do. Find something that you like to do. I really like sewing, so I'm motivated to continue to sew. So the big thing is try and have fun with your business. I'm Miley, I'm the owner and president of my business, Sewing with Smiles. You can find me on Etsy, just search Sewing with Smiles. What a great match, and how much fun that they share a love of the theater. I can't wait to see what this year brings for Miley and her business. Finally, let's meet the top entrepreneurs in the 16 to 21 age category. I am honored to announce the two finalists in this age category. First is Colin Patterson, Rowan Steger, and Carter Galliard. These friends and business partners dreamed up mountainside lifestyle as freshmen when they were in high school as a way to aid their community. They created an e-commerce platform for local small businesses to provide a distribution channel that these businesses may not otherwise be able to execute on their own. Now, since COVID-19, Mountainside Lifestyle has become a lifeline for many small businesses that solely relied on farmers markets and craft fairs for their sales. Judges universally praise the trio's entrepreneurial spirit and their approach to solving a real world problem. The next finalist is Shokin Lopez of the Teen Entrepreneur. Shokin's experience over the last six years with drop shipping through eBay has made him an expert in this field. With a proven business model, Shokin quickly realized that he could spread his knowledge to others through online courses that teach a variety of e-business techniques. Judges raved about Shokin's ability to monetize knowledge and skills with extremely high margins. And now it's time for the top award in the 16 to 21 age category, winning a $5,000 cash prize. Congratulations, Leonard. Um, you are the winner of the age 16 to 21 age category. Oh. <laughs> yes. So you will be receiving $5,000. So congratulations. Um, your mentor is going to be Raju Patel who is the Denver Market President of Bank of America. It's sort of coincidence that I've been um, working with City Year, with Raju, so yeah. we sort of have that connection. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, congratulations, Leonard. Yay! It was nice to hear the little ding of a sale. I was listing items on eBay with my dad. He had his lab clothes and we were selling some of the equipment as that was slowing down. I really wanted to continue selling, but I wasn't sure what I was gonna continue selling. So I looked, what do I know? And Pokemon. Cardbound LLC is a company that sells Pokemon cards ranging from English bulk cards to Japanese cards that have been graded and really everything in between, really narrowing in on high-end collectors. I founded Cardbound in 2015. To date, the last time I checked, it was over 25,000 orders 
and I believe we're close to a million in sales. Congrats, let's do an elbow bump. Leonard's amazing. He's a natural entrepreneur, just has a, a business mind. As I was applying for scholarships my senior year to help pay for college, I saw the Young American Center for Financial Education on the list. I applied to the Youth Biz Stars business competition because I saw $5,000 and I thought, great. I think it's great when you can marry a passion of yours and turn it into a business. I work for Bank of America. I'm the market president for Denver, and I also lead our commercial banking business in Colorado. I was fortunate enough to visit Young Americans Bank when I first moved here. We took a tour of the town center here and I was amazed. Every young child needs to be exposed to this and have the experience. This year I'm really focusing on becoming more data-driven. It's important for us to be a good corporate citizen as Bank of America. We can't be strong as a financial institutions if our communities aren't strong. I feel like I should give back. I wish I had the opportunity to have a mentor when I was Leonard's age. I think it'll be really impactful, especially from a banking perspective. That's where some of my issues come into play, like calculating cost goods sold and really bettering my inventory management systems. Tell me a little bit more about the inventory of cards that you carry. Pokemon cards. They're a game created by Nintendo. I believe they started as the card and now they're both the card and the video game. And really the cards are a card game so you can play with other people. Though most of my customers are collecting. It's a business that he started up that is sort of new economy, right? This is not a business anyone would have thought about. Uh, 20 years ago. He's very tech savvy. I want to get my accounting methods really solid and really get those in place so that either I could sell the company in the future or just continue growing it. How do you measure revenues and, and profits uh, for your business? Ultimately, I do want to transition to more of a tech startup, whether that's specifically with trading cards and some technology that can be used there or if it's in another industry. As a banker, one of the passions and joys that I have is helping other people grow their businesses. I can see one day that Leonard's gonna start up a business that's gonna be very, very successful. In terms of when you should start a business, the best time is usually now, so get into it. My name is Leonard Shear, and I'm the founder of Cardbound LLC. You can find us at cardbound.com. Beyond sales and customers, it is so clear that these entrepreneurs have gained so much through business ownership. This type of meaningful, hands-on education has been central to advancing Young American Center's mission for the last 33 years. The values that the organization was founded on are more important today than ever before. The power of the free enterprise system, entrepreneurial spirit, ethics and integrity, and financial responsibility. With your help, Young American Center can continue to provide innovative, one-of-a-kind educational programs that put our youth on a path to self-sufficiency. If you haven't made your gift, please do so now. And with that, our show is over. Thank you again for joining us, and most importantly, thank you for your support. <laughs>